Okay, this is the press conference for the 2013 uh, NCAA Softball Atlantic Super Regional. Today, Westchester fell 2-1 to one to Kutztown and has been eliminated from NCAA tournament play. With us today, we have pitcher Devin Unterback, Kelly Anderson, as well as head coach Diane Loki. Coach, if you get us started with an opening comment on your team's play today. Um, pretty much a mirror image of yesterday's game, uh, hard fought defensively, and then offensively we continued to hit the ball hard. It just either went foul or right to one of their players, and got a great pitching performance from Devin. Thank you, Coach. Media, the floor is yours. Yeah, Diane, before we get into looking back at the season, um, today's game, uh, it, it, you were, it was similar to the last game, but um, it seemed like you were even in this one even more. Um, how much better do you think Devin pitched? And then, and it seemed like you uh, you know, were right in it right to the very end. Um, we just approached, we had a team meeting last night with Devin, and just we approached that it's a new umpire, it's a new day, and we didn't really alter our game plan at all. You know, she you know, pitched to the game plan, and we just didn't score enough runs for her. Can you talk about, I mean, it's pretty early, but uh, a lot of people think this is the greatest season Westchester's had in softball and it goes back over half a century. Is that any consolation? I'm sure you're going to think back on that finally at some point, maybe even right now. Well, I've been reflecting on it all season and especially the last three weeks. Um, it's been an amazing season and I couldn't be prouder of this group of girls that I, young athletes that I coached. Um, they never gave up, they never gave in, and they just fought to the end. Can we ask the student athletes? Yes. Okay. Uh, Kelly, can you answer that too? Uh, how fun was this season? And do you get a sense that you guys were kind of like making history by winning more games than the other team and going further in the NCAAs than the other team? Yeah. I mean, as a junior, I've already experienced two other seasons aside from this one. And we've always sensed that we have the talent, we have the potential, and it's awesome seeing us go this far this season. And I'm just excited for next year too. Devin, I know this was your last game. Um, can you talk about uh, kind of the emotions that, that go along with that? And, and, and also, can you talk about did you feel more uh, in control today than you did yesterday? Uh, well, as far as today's game goes, I definitely think I felt more in control. Um, I just was going to pitch to contact and let my defense do the work. Um, as for the last game, it's, it's always hard. You know, you've been playing this game since you're little, so this is, you know, this is it. But um, I couldn't have asked for a better way to go out. It was awesome. Can, can you think back? I mean, you established the all-time strikeout record, and you become one of, I think, just two players to win 20 games in a season, and then the team stuff. Is that kind of really a great way to, to kind of wrap up a career, to have some of those things in your back pocket? Yeah, I mean, the records are always cool, but, like, it's the memories that mean so much, and, like, these last couple of weeks, like the memories are so much more than a record. This is for either one, either Kelly or um, anybody actually, the coach. Um, what do you think it might have been different if you would have been able to host the, the, the game? And I know you don't want to use that as an excuse, but um, it is tough to beat good teams on their home field, right? Definitely. Um, it would have been great to host since it's our first appearance the Super Regional. But like you said, we can't, I don't let the girls use any excuses. So we tried to channel that and try to come here at Kutztown and beat them on their own turf. And we played our heart out. So. 